probably don't have any time to waste and you need to get an IT job as quickly as possible. You have to pay those bills. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over the quickest way that you can get an entry level IT job. I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step instructions and then I'm gonna go over different resources, certificates and skills that you need in order to land this entry level job within six months. I started my career way back eight years ago as an IT support specialist. And in 2022, becoming an IT support specialist or help desk support or desktop support is still the quickest way into the IT field. It doesn't sound as glamorous, but you only need to work the help desk six to 12 months. And then from there you want to pivot into a more specialized field. And there are tons of different pathways. You, you could do cloud, you could do system administration, you could do networking, you could go into IT security or cybersecurity. And I have tons of videos on how to start your career in cybersecurity and IT, the possibilities are endless of what you could do after you only have six to 12 months of experience. The first step you're going to want to do is to make the decision that you are going to get an entry level job in 2022 within six months. The best entry level jobs to start with is the help desk support, but this goes into many different names. So it could be called technical support specialist, desktop support, technical support engineer, and it goes by many different names. Just always look at the job duties in the entry level IT job posting. The word decision actually comes from the Latin word to cut off. Otherwise you're going to be like from from like networking jobs to cloud jobs, to cybersecurity jobs to IT security. And you're like, oh, look at all these jobs I could get, but you're never gonna become qualified for any of these jobs if you're spread too thin. So choose the help desk support job and then focus on that until you get that job. And then once you get the job, then you can see what you like and what you don't like, uh, which is extremely valuable. And that is the best part of the help desk is figuring out what you don't like. Once you have decided, you're going to want to make a plan to land an entry level IT role. And the best way to make this plan is through SMART goals. And the rest of the video is based on different IT skills, different ways to gain experience in IT if you don't have any, salaries and all of that fun stuff. So stay to the end and I'll be going over that. Be specific. So you want to land a help desk job, and then you're going to want to measure this. What measurements and milestones are you going to achieve before reaching that goal. So what is your resume going to look like? What skills are you going to gain? What, what IT home labs are you going to have? Which IT certifications you're going to need? How to create a killer good resume. By the way, I do have a link below free resume template. If you want to check that out, resume is extremely important. So once you have done that, is it achievable? Do you have the time to place every day to study for IT? Do you have the resources? Do you have motivation that you can achieve it? in that period of time. Is it relevant? Is this goal of landing an IT help desk job relevant to your life? The last part, is it time-based? You must put a deadline on your goal. Otherwise it could expand for years. It's not gonna take you four years to land a help desk job. Honestly, you could probably do it within six months of consistent studying every day. Which leads into after you have made that plan and you know exactly what to do, you're going to want to learn the basics of IT. So it's kind of hard to make a plan if you don't know exactly what to study. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to learn the broad basics of IT. And some of the broad basics include basics of IT security, system administration, basics of networking and the OSI model, different cloud technologies, customer support is a huge skill that you need to learn. How to troubleshoot and troubleshooting methodologies is very important to learn. So make sure you know your troubleshooting and make sure you know your OSI model and all of that fun stuff. And there's a lot of different resources that you can use to prepare yourself for a help desk job. One of the best resources to use and to start with to see even if you like IT is the Google IT support certification. I do have a link below and I do have some reviews up here. I've actually been through that course and people 
have actually landed a help desk support job from taking that certification. And I'm sure that they put in a lot of work and made their resume good. That is the best place to start if you are looking to get into help desk role and jumpstarting your IT career, because not only does Google really just present that information well, it's probably one of the best troubleshooting modules I have ever watched in my entire life. Uh, so if you go deep into that, it's fantastic. And it also prepares you for the CompTIA A+. So if you're not ready for the CompTIA A+, then the Google IT support certification can actually be a, a very good starting place because you will learn technical basics. Also smash that like button and leave a comment. What is the hardest thing that you were finding when trying to change your career into IT? After you have the basics down and you, you have a broader knowledge of exactly what information technology is, then you're gonna want to train yourself for an entry level job specific skill set. The best way to do this is to actually go on Indeed and look at help desk job, desktop support jobs and see what they're looking for. So if you look at this one job posting, it wants someone who has customer service skills. It has the basics of networking. So you're going to need to know the OSI model. You're going to need to know how to talk on the phone because it's largely front facing business. You're going to need to know how to diagnose and troubleshoot software and hardware problems. You're going to need to maintain accurate records. You're going to need to know help desk ticketing systems. You need to know how to work with say laptops, mobile phones, tablets, and all of that fun stuff. You know, these are not hard skills to pick up. Some really good resources to learn these skills is HevTech IT support. He literally goes into everything that you need to know to land your help desk job and his channel specializes in getting that first help desk entry level job. And honestly, he is an amazing resource. I've checked out some of his videos. They're really good. That's where you would go after taking the IT support certification. So you kind of know what's going on and then to hone on your skills for like actual work experience and industry experience hands on. And after you do all of this, you're really gonna want to gain experience to put on your resume. You don't need a job to gain experience for an entry level job as help desk, but you can just create your own experience through home labs, through doing different projects for people. You can even do like tasks for people. I think it's called taskrabbit.com. You can actually just become a contractor for yourself and then put that on your resume. So many different ways that you can gain experience in IT without a job. After that, and you have the skills and you have the work experience and you have that resume template that is linked below, then you're really going to want to make your resume resume good. Now people understate the importance of a resume, but if your resume is awful, you're not going to get any callbacks. Once you change your resume to accurately reflect your skills, then that is when you will get callbacks. So if you've already done all of this and you're not receiving any phone calls back, look at your resume because I guarantee you it's not good. A resume is an art. You're building it for four people and that's the applicant tracking system, the hiring manager, the tech team that is hiring you and also human resources. Uh, so that's four people that you're writing it for. And even if you're networking and you're like, I'm not going to go that route, your resume still needs to be good because your friend will forward your resume to the hiring manager. I can't stress this enough. If you're not getting callbacks, then it's because your resume is probably pretty terrible. Once you have all of that, then you're really going to want to interview. Interviewing, the more interviews you do, the better you'll get at. And also the more technical questions you answer, the better that you'll get at answering technical questions. It's always good to prepare with interview questions and help. When trying to land an entry level IT job that I believe there are some YouTube videos on it and some on Google, just make sure you're really well versed in those interview questions. And that would be the fastest way to get an IT job in 2022. If you want to start today, I strongly suggest committing time and resources to the Google IT support certification. Put a deadline on when you want to complete it. So many people have completed this within two months and for six months, right? You can spend two on the IT support certificate. You can spend two months uh, checking out Kev IT support, and then really honing down on the skills you need to do, including home labs, making your resume perfect. And then the last two months, you can go heavy into the interviewing, applying to jobs and all of that sort. And I have no doubt that you can land an entry level IT job really quickly within these six months if you just put in the work and the effort. It's not gonna be easy, but 
you can definitely do it. The link is below for that Google IT support certificate. So check that out, get started today and check out all of my other videos in IT and cybersecurity. And it's all about exploring different careers. So please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you then, bye.